All right, this will be our last video of the Sword and Cloak series, where we look at the duration of the attacks. So this is me dealing with a variety of actions, provocations, normal attacks from all six guards, the four low and the two high, uh, using the Sword and Cloak. We're going to see a lot of repetition here, um, some from the sword by itself, some sword and dagger, and some just from the defense that we learned with Sword and Cloak. So I'm going to break this down by what the attacker is doing, and then how I want to respond to it. And I'll show this in a couple of different angles, straight on from the right to the left. So, we we'll start in Kurunga Strata. The first action we're dealing with is a Punta Rasa to the face. So we're going to use our false edge to cover that, which will naturally open up this small little opening in between my weapon and cloak. And the agent's going to come in with a second Punta Rasa to our chest, as we saw in Sword, sword by Itself and Sword and, sword and Dagger. So as it happens, we're going to guide it to our right and cut to the head with an overhand reversal, bringing us to the next guard, Kurunga Alta. Uh, they are going to come in with a uh, stoccata to draw, so, gonna, so they can come with a mandrita to our left leg. So we're gonna let that happen. We're gonna bring this up, and as they change, Targets, we're going to step back and do a mandrito to the inside of their sword arm, bringing us to Iron Gate. Next, we're dealing with a fainted Punta Versa. He says, Don't do anything, but I still need to cover in some way. This will elicit a reverso to the outside of my right thigh, and we're going to simply transition to head guard. And throw a Dito Stranzo, only stepping back to Chingale. From here, we're going to deal with a fainted Stranzo to the head, and we want to go to head guard. This Stranzo is going to turn instead to a Imbrocata to our right side. So from here, we're just going to keep it going to our right as we pivot around our left foot with our right, doing a triangle step and a reversal to their head. And then from there, so we've just done this, we're going to come up to the corner of the left. We're going to do the straight up Mandrio to the head. So we will defend, thrust, bring it down, bring it back up to uh, Unicorn to the right. And the final thing is a Mandrito Tondo to the head. We will Defend with the cloak, mandrito to the leg, and Rubinerso Stranazame as we leave, ending up in the gallery start in Kurunga Strata. So, again, from different, two different angles, we have number one, Punta Rasa, Punta Rasa, Stoccata to the face, mandrito to the leg, we have a Punta Rasa to the face. Reverse to the leg. We have a fainted stranzone to an imbrocata. We have a mandrito to the high line. And then we have a mandrito tondo to the high line. And then other angle, talking from the patient's point. False edge, outside slip, cloak defense, Andrea to the sword arm, false edge, Drito Stranzone to the sword arm again, transition head guard, outside slip. Next up, we're dealing with a Andrito, so we're going to step in, thrust, finish it up. Doing like a stanza, or just drawing that through and then cutting back up with the rodopio, and then cloak defense as we cut to the leg. So we're here, cloak defense of the left foot, cut to the leg, right foot behind, leave with a reverse of stanza. So we can see a lot of repetition here. We can see the outside slip being used on two occasions. We're seeing the cloak defense at least twice, 
and we're seeing this can opener idea where we kind of bring it in so we can open up that extended arm when they're going low to our left or right leg, inside or outside. So that concludes this, uh, this section of my script. I may film a later video where we show the agent's part um, as one connected flowing um, series of movements, but uh, we'll probably see that in the new year. So thanks for tuning in and uh, see you in the new year.